This video was brought to you by Noble Knight Games. More about them at the end of the video. Hey everybody, Kimberly here, and I am thrilled to bring you another 18 card game from Buttonshy Games and from Elizabeth Hargrave. This is Picky Pixie. And the thing I like about this game so much is its replayability because this is all about deduction. So every round, a player is going to become the pixie and they are going to create a rule about the flowers that they eat and everybody else at the table is going to receive clues as to what fits the rule or doesn't fit the rule and all with the same information, players are vying to guess the rule of the pixie. So here's how the game is going to work. You're gonna shuffle up all the cards. These are the flower cards and they are on both sides. And they have varying amounts of flowers that are from one and two in the small side and then three and four on the big side. You just shuffle them all up really well. You set out the yes, no card and it's going to essentially face the players. And you are going to, as the pixie, make a flower rule. You're going to take the two cards on the top of the deck and take a look at them. And you're going to look at these cards trying to figure out what rule you can make that has an example on one card on any of the four spaces and shows that it doesn't fit the rule on the other card in any of the four spaces in which you'll slide under here. So give me a minute to figure out what my rule is. The other thing you do is you also write it down on a little sheet of paper and you keep it a secret so that at the end of the round, you can say, this was my rule and you absolutely guessed it and I had it from the start. So it also reminds you of your rule too if you have to peek. So I'm gonna take a look at these and then slide them under yes, no, write it down and then get back with you. All right, so now that I'm done, I have my instance of my rule on this side, and I have an instance where my rule is not followed on the other side. That was just that initial making a flower rule and giving initial clues. That's what every pixie is going to do at the start of the round, and again, every player at the table is going to be the pixie once. Now we're gonna start offering flowers as the other players, and in clockwise order, starting with the left of the pixie, a player is going to draw a card from the top of the deck. They're going to look at the sides and they are simply going to pick one of the four that they want to ask the pixie, does this follow your rule or not? So I'm just going to try to do this and point here. Okay, so I pointed on this side uh, and I'm going to say, does this follow my rule? And I'm going to put it over here on the no side. We're going to slide it in right there. I'm going to say, nope, that does not follow my rule. You're looking at this side. You're looking at this side. Players are trying to narrow down what is the rule. Now, here's what the rule has to be. Now, this is just a standard game. The Pixies rule must start with one of the phrases, at least, less than, or even an odd. And they give some examples here, at least one pink, at least three flowers, at least two orchids, or less than two yellow, less than three colors, less than four roses, and then the even odds. Just simply have to deal with even number of flowers, odd number of a particular type, or odd number of daisies, and zero is an even number in this game. So you have one of those three categories, and, oh, sorry, um, amounts, and it's followed by a category. So you've got pink, yellow, violet, white, orchid, trumpet, rose, daisy, or you may use different colors. You may use different types as keywords or just generally flowers. So that's it. Those are the things you get to pick from. And I love that this card is one of your 18 cards. So you have 16 flower cards, one yes, no card, and then one that tells you how to piece it together. Because as the guessers, you again are trying to figure out what this rule is. And again, in the standard game, which is the basic game, I really recommend starting with just that. You've got two parts. You've got your amount, at least less than, even odd, paired with a category. So another player, the person to my left, picked this card and said this. And I said, that's not part of my rule. I know what my rule is. I'm looking out here and I'm like, cool, I've got it. So then let's say we're playing a three player game. Another player, the next person in order is gonna take the next top card. So you're just gonna go in turn order. Again, this is the offering flowers to the pixie. They're gonna look at this card and just go, yeah, this one. And then I am gonna say, that fits my rule. Now, at this point, because every player has offered a flower that's playing in the game, because I'm the pixie and I've got two, two other players playing with me, the next thing is going to be guessing the rule. If anybody wants to guess what the rule is, they think they know what the answer is, 
They can say, I want to guess. Now, everybody at the table can say they don't want to guess. It's too early. It's too soon. We don't want to risk giving the pixie points because once a guess is made, the pixie's going to put a card up here. And this is just to keep track of the guesses. So that card comes out of the deck and it comes up here and that's points for the pixie. And that means that I'm going to get two points at the end of the game because there's one guess up here. And then everybody at the table is going to make a secret guess. They're going to write it down here and they're going to like, you know, fold it in half and they're going to keep track of their guess. So everyone's simultaneously guessing, but they're not guessing out loud because you don't want any of your guesses to influence anybody else's guesses. And everybody can essentially get it correct on the same round, which is really, really cool. So you're going to make a guess and let's say, yeah, it was too early. You weren't able to get my, uh, um, my rule yet. You weren't able to guess it. Then we're just going to go back to the offering flowers one player at a time. And then there's going to be another opportunity for guessing. And there's just one guess. And then you go back to flowers. So the more guesses you make, the more points the pixie earns, especially if the guesses are incorrect, the more you kind of stack up with these cards. And so players may not want to, they may want to keep as many cards in the deck as possible because at the end of the game, if they guess it correct, they're going to get the amount of cards um, for every two. They get a point for every two remaining in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, round it down, so five. If they get it right this very first time with one guess, they're gonna get five points, I'm going to get two points. So you can see how the longer the game goes, the fewer points players can earn and possibly the more points that uh, players are giving to the pixie. So let's do one more round of clue giving and then I'll tell you what my rule is. You might already know it now. I don't know if you know it because I see a lot of possibilities out here. So I'm going to take the top card. We're going to flip it, flip it, flip it, go here. Uh, and I'm going to say, this does not follow my rule. So I'm going to slide it under there. We're going to make sure those are all lined up. And then, of course, the other player at the table is going to do the same thing. They're going to draw this card here. They're going to go, 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 go. Ah, okay. This is an instance of my rule. And there we go. So at this point, if players want to make a guess, which maybe you want to make a guess at this point, we're going to tuck this card in right there, looking like we got two clues. And now players are going to make a guess. We know one, two, three, four. It's four points for guessers to get it correct. But now it's two plus two is four points to the pixie. So, ooh, it's so fun. So that's going to be how you're going to score that up. And every time it's the next pixie to go, they go in turn order, pick up all the flower cards, shuffle them up, and then start off again with that making a flower rule and then giving initial clues. Now at the end of the round, after every player has gone and they've been the pixie, you add up all the points together, and that is going to be the grand winner of Picky Pixie. There are other ways to make this game a little bit more advanced. There are some um, harder variables. They call them advanced and expert. And so if you're in an advanced game, as opposed to a standard game, um, you are going to combine two standard rules with the word and, and you're gonna add something else to it. So it makes your rule more complex. And the, the example they give is at least one pink flower and less than one rose. And immediately you see like how complicated this can get and how kind of you got to have all these kind of like charts and graphs going on in your mind. It kind of reminds me of Paint the Roses with that deduction game, the cooperative aspects and how they had those charts because they had three different levels of difficulty with the cards and the deduction. And then they started adding these little, um, you know, cheat sheets that had the different combinations possible. And it was so, so nice to have those sheets around there. So I think if you're playing the advanced or the expert variant, you might want to actually have some cheat sheets around and maybe you can make some homemade ones. The expert says that the rule may take any form and it just is literally whatever structure you want. It doesn't have to follow um, the at least less than or even an 
even and odd, which I think keeps things really organized. <laughs> so if you're really in a group that needs a little bit more challenge and you want to do expert, absolutely go for it. I just have a really, really fun time playing this game. No matter what points I earn, I think the challenge of trying to figure out what the rule is before other players, or even if I'm in a two-player game, there's a little bit more relaxed feel in a two-player game. But however many players, two to five, you play this with, this 30-minute deduction game is light, fun, super replayable, absolutely adorable. So for me, Picky Pixie has it, has it in spades. All right, everybody. I will see you later. Bye. Here at Noble Knight Games, we've been carefully growing the world's largest selection of board games, role-playing games and dice, war games, miniatures and paints, card games, and more. Going on 25 years now. Our rustic castle contains more game and hobby goodness than you can shake a stick at. Complete with careful packaging and the finest customer service the land can provide. You can buy, sell, trade, roam anywhere in the world. Just like nature intended. Noble Night Games. All right, folks, and just because you stayed to the very end, you better believe it. I've got the rule right here for you. So it is at least two pink, and that's just two pink flowers in general. I've got two pink here, not an example of that here. Yes, two pinks, not an example. Two pinks here, and again, not an example of that. So if that's what you guessed and you did it here, let's say you did it here before you even got the other examples. Kudos, you know how many points you earned. And now I think you're ready to play Picky Pixie.